question number 72 how is the status of the carry auxiliary carry and parity flag affected if right instruction means by uh, after doing these two instructions how the status of the flag is going to affect this is a very simple question and easy question also i'll explain you and you'll never forget in your life fine so first we'll try to decode these instructions and we'll get the operation of the alu based on the results of the alu we, we can say how the flags have gone affected the flags are these flags are called status flags they'll change based upon the operation of the alu okay based on the results of the alu the status flags are going to change okay let us see that see the first instruction is given as move a 9c means you need to move 9c into a you need to move 9c into a register a then second instruction now a as a register as what it contains it contains 9c okay now what you need to do is you need to move the results of see add a 64h what does it indicates you need to add 64 to a you need to add 64 to this a after adding you will get some result right that result again send into a that is the meaning of it first you need to add see add a to a add a and 64 what is the previous value of a 9c so 9c and 64 both you will add then this result you will again send it to a that is not given but it is understood it is the meaning that finally the result will be stored in a that is the meaning of second instruction so the finally the value of a contains the addition of 9c and 64 so let us see the addition of 9c and 64 you can do this directly if you know the hexadecimal addition okay so 9c and 64 so i'll tell you two ways of adding one is hexadecimal adding and other is binary adding so binary adding is simple so first we'll see binary adding 9 is nothing but 1001 okay so c is nothing but 1100 next 6 is nothing but 0110 4 is nothing but 0100 so just add this 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 1 is nothing but 0 with 1 carry 1 plus 1 is again 0 with 1 carry then 1 plus 1 is again what 0 with 1 carry 1 plus 1 is nothing but 0 with 1 carry 1 plus 1 is nothing but 0 with 1 carry again 1 plus 1 is nothing but 0 with 1 carry i hope you know how to do the binary addition of the numbers fine this is the results of result of the ALU means ALU perform this uh, uh, addition and finally it will store in a register A. The result is again stored in the register A. We can see that there is an overflow. Overflow has occurred for this bit. Fine. So one bit has got overflowed. Fine. Now after this, what I would like to say is you can do just normal addition of uh, hexadecimal. I'll tell you that. Then we'll go to the uh, signed way. I mean, how the status of the flags are going to s change. See, I am adding C to 4. See what is c see hexadecimal numbers first i'll write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 see not 10 will not come then you'll get what is known as a a b c d e f then you are going to get 1 0 then 1 1 like that it goes okay fine now let me uh, count this see c for c i'm adding 4 see you are located c here for c you add 4 means 1 2 3 4 so the result is 1 0 1 with 0 so 0 is here 1 is here okay now you need to add 9 plus 1 plus 6 okay now you need to add 9 plus 1 plus 6 so again once again I am considering hexadecimal numbers so now I need to add 9 plus 1 plus 6 so for 9 first I am adding 1 then it becomes a so this two are gone now for a 9 plus 1 is nothing but a for a um, i should add 6 so let me add 6 to a okay one second this is c and d so for a i should add 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 it's again 1 0 so 0 here 1 is outside so it's nothing but 0 0 h so 0 is nothing but it is represented with four nibbles i'd same i represented in the binary okay same it's easy if you can add in the hexadecimal i told the technique so z four zeros then this zero indicates again four zeros okay this one indicates an overflow here also there is an overflow simple okay fine 
so if you can do in the binary what is the advantage is you can tell the status of the flags but general if you anywhere if you want to add hexadecimal numbers just follow this technique okay but for this question binary addition is useful because we need to know the status of the flags fine you have added now what is a carry flag carry flag before going to this one second okay i removed the redundant parts which are not needed i have erased now let us see so what is the status of the flag so carry flag first we'll see carry flag carry flag is the flag which will set to high means which will set when the result is an overflow when there is a carry occurs when there is a carry occurs then you can say the carry flag is set to one if there, if there is no carry then you can say carry flag is zero in this case the outside for out it has overcome means the carry is occurred from the msb the msb it resulted a carry outside so hence the carry flag is set to one this is point number one so carry flag is denoted with cy then what is auxiliary carry flag auxiliary carry uh, flag is nothing but the first four bits we'll call it as enable see four bits four bits indicates enable then eight bits indicates a byte okay so the four bits from this is called msp this is called lsp from lsp if you are getting a carry from lower nibble this is called lower nibble from lower nibble this is the msp this is the lsp okay so this is called lower nibble the first four parts is called lower nibble okay this is called higher nibble this four parts okay this four is called lower nibble higher nibble so from lower nibble if you are getting a carry towards the higher nibble see from this this is the one this is the one i am referring to so if you are getting this is the carry from lower nibble to higher nibble there is a carry if there is a carry occurs then the carry auxiliary carry flag will set to one that is called auxiliary carry flag auxiliary carry flag will set to one when there is a carry from lower nibble to higher nibble so i think you have understood what is a carry flag and what is a auxiliary carry flag fine now after understanding these two concepts let us go to the next one next comes is parity flag parity flag is nothing but it is set to one when it is set to one that only i'm explaining zero it is other case it is set to one when the result contains even number of ones if the, it is has a even number of ones or that is what we'll call it as even parity okay if the result has even number of ones or even parity then set the parity flag to one you just check uh, or else otherwise it is set to zero the other case you can tell it has odd parity or odd number of ones always you check with respect to ones always when the result you get a result count the number of ones if they are even then parity flag is one if they are odd then the parity flag is zero so you can check the result without carry okay without carry you need to check so in the result you can check how many ones are there there are zero ones no one can you see any one no zero number of ones zero number of ones are there so how many ones zero this number is how what this is a even number okay even number of ones are there hence it is a even parity so the parity flag is set to one so p is one once again so the p is set to one that you remember okay we'll choose in the options then i want to tell you one thing extra zero flag so zero flag is set to one when the result is zero so in our case you can see the result is zero all zeros ms all lower nibble is complete lower nibble zero higher nibble also it is completely zero so the total it is a zero so obviously it will set to one or else if it is not zero then zero flag is set to zero so what is the answer for us zero flag is set to one parity flag is set to one because there are zero number of ones then carry flag is set to one auxiliary carry flag is set to one everything is there all are ones now let us see the options see carry flag it is set to one so you can eliminate option a and option c auxiliary carry flag it is one yes parity also even it is one it's not zero so in op in first the isro has given this as the answer but it is incorrect option d is the right choice okay many books i have given option b is the chance but option d is the right choice please make sure parity flag is also one parity is one when there are even number of zeros please remember that parity is one when there are even number of zeros sorry even number of ones not zeros even number of ones so the right choice is option d 
So if you have any queries, post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more updates. Okay, thank you.